Well, the effects of bullying can have emotional and physical consequences for children. And it's an issue that doctors are paying a lot more attention to. Dr. Zorba Pastor joins us tonight from his clinic in Oregon. Hi, Zorba. Hi, Zorba. Hi, pleasure to be here. This, this is really a, a very, very serious issue. But when you have a patient come into your office to talk about either being bullied or being a bully, how do you define that? How is bullying defined by the experts? Well, if we look at sort of the definition, it's aggressive behavior, it's repeated behavior. Uh, a bully has power over the child or the adult who may be bullied. So in other words, there's a power issue. It can be physical, it can be psychological, uh, but it's really more or less the repeated actions that occur. And usually the child can't defend themselves. And, and it can become very problematic. The definition is not secure. And yet, in many ways, we all know what a bully is because we've all known bullies in our life. As a parent, what are some of the warning signs that your child is being bullied? I think the best way to look at things like that are the same warning signs that we have for depression. Is your child not doing things that they normally would do? Do they not want to go out with friends? Do they not want to do things that normally give them pleasure? Are they coming home from school and they don't want to go back to school? Uh, and I think it's very important for parents then to say what's going on. You may query the child. You may ask the child. They may not say anything. Ask their friends what's going on in school. Ask their brothers and sisters what's going on for the school. Ask the teachers what's going on for school. Because often they'll be aware if there's a bully in school that's, you know, that's hurting your child. Your child may not say anything, but very often their friends will tell you exactly what's going on. And I think that's a very important point for a parent who wants to see if their child is being bullied. And this is a very difficult thing, I think, sometimes for parents to admit. But what if your child is the bully? What, what should you be looking for? You know, as a good parent, we want our child to grow up responsibly. And we know that bullies who are bullying are often engaged in other aggressive behavior when they become teenagers and when they're older. And I think the important thing is then to seek help through either their doctor, a clinical psychologist, for example, the doctor may recommend or they may know, going to the school, and then actually being a parent, mentoring your child, saying this is correct, this is incorrect behavior, this is right, this is wrong. But taking action is very important for a, ch a parent who may have a child with a bully because many bully children then engage in aggressive behavior as adults and quite often they end up in behavior that you don't want to have as adults. They're not forgiven. They often, more often are likely to end up in jail and have other problems. So I think as a parent, just like if your child is being bullied or you have a bully in your family, take action, seek counseling. That's what makes a difference and talk to them. Communication, that Very is the key. Very good advice. Absolutely. Starts Zorba, with that. Thank you. Thanks, Zorba. Good to see you. And you can chat online with Dr. Zorba Pastor tonight from 10 to 11 p.m. Just head over to our Channel 3000 Facebook page. It's a great opportunity mm -hmm. to get some advice from Dr. Pastor.